Hey everyone, uh, it's been uh, quite a while now since my last video. I'm thinking maybe a month, two months. Um, quite a bit has gone on during that time. I finally got the motorhome back. It was in the shop for about two months, I would say. And so, like I said, I just got that back. Had, uh, had to put a new sway bar, bushings, um, several other things. I had to put a new gauge, temperature gauge for the engine, a uh, new tire, new airbags for the ride right system. Um, so it's it's been in the shop for quite a while. Uh, they haven't been working on it real fast, just whenever they got time. But uh, I worked, it was, it's been about a month before I took my little trip in the shop. And then I went on the trip and came back and then it's been another month in there. Uh, the trip went pretty good. Uh, it was a good test on the motorhome. It did surprisingly well. Um, the whole trip, like I said, was good until I got back into town, maybe three miles from where the storage building is here. Uh, I had a blowout and it was the passenger side rear tire, the outside one, the sidewall blew out. So, thankfully I was already back in town when that happened and instead of out on the road. But, uh, so that was somewhat exciting. But, uh, I'll show you some of the stuff that's been done. Here is the new temperature gauge. I went with that kind of gauge instead of replacing the whole cluster here. That was going to be like 800 bucks. So, motorhome's not worth it to spend that kind of money on just a gauge like that. So I just do a little cheap one. Works pretty good. Does what it's supposed to. Um, I haven't done anything on the inside. Um, That's the tire that blew out. This is like, the part that blew out was like this part of the sidewall. And it, it basically just put a big crack in it to where the air just leaked out. Fortunately, I was uh, lucky enough that I was right by a gas station. I put some air in it and limped back over here. Like I said, it was only a couple miles, so wasn't a big deal. So got that taken care of. And let's see if I can show the airbags. Yeah, there's the uh, the new airbags. And I guess that's I had to put a new sway bar on too. I didn't actually have one, is what I what it sounded like. So I guess that's that. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hectic driving it. It was swaying and everything, but we managed to get there, so it wasn't a big deal. New battery inside. And, uh, like I said, the motorhome did pretty well. I was very pleased. It was a good little test. And, uh, all right, since the last video, I also no longer have the bus. I, uh, I put it up on for sale and wasn't getting any offers or anything so basically the guy offered me a car for it and I figured well it'd be easier to sell that or trade it or something instead of selling the bus so I ended up making a trade and uh, I'll show you what I traded for it's a 1979 Pontiac Firebird and it looks like they were trying to clone a Trans Am it's just got the Trans Am body packaging, except for the front fenders. 
It's got the Trans Am wheels, spoiler, shaker hood, the little fender things. It's a pretty nice little car. Like I said, I think I can get a little more out of it than I could the bus. And it's going to be easier to sell. I love the sound of it. Pretty good condition. It said the uh, engine only has 30,000 miles on it. And it's a uh, 400. And he was saying it had five something gears in the rear end, so. But I'm not sure what he said exactly. It's the interior. I'm not running out of gas. All right, yeah, we're good. Fun little car to take out on the weekends. I'm gonna do a few little things to it and then sell it or trade it. So, we'll see. And, uh, been working on my website. And it's about ready to, uh, I'm gonna start advertising it. Or maybe not advertising it, but letting people know. And it's going to, it's for my uh, pictures that I was gonna do for, you know, charities and stuff. So, probably within a month or so, I should have that up online and ready. And, uh, I've started adding, uh, car show coverage and different event coverage on it so you can go on there and check out different car shows those pictures won't be for sale but you know you can just look through those um, the website like I said is almost done I'll be starting to look for advertisers and everything on the website and uh, I'm also gonna start a couple of blogs and I, like I said I'm trying to uh, get it set up to where if I hit the road I can start bringing in money so it's kind of what I've been working on the past couple months and uh, I'm gonna start trying to sell t-shirts that I create and I haven't decided yet but I'm either gonna do a new t-shirt every day or every week so then I'll have a blog for that and everything so hopefully it all works out and can get out on the road pretty soon but uh, sorry it took so long to get another video up and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Hopefully another video will be up soon.